Hello, my name is Joseph, and this is my beautiful wife, Sarah. And we have been consistently coming to the Wayward Outreach for a year and a half now. Growing up, I was raised in a broken home with the, there was a lot of alcohol, a lot of addiction, a lot of depression. My family did not have God in the center of their lives. Uh, let alone myself, I did not have God in the center of my life. For me, on the other hand, I grew up knowing God, having a relationship with Jesus. I grew up doing adopt a block, serving in the youth ministry as a student leader. But then one day, I met my husband in high school and that's when the enemy deceived me and convinced me that it's okay to take a break from Jesus. Before, my wife was very joyful. She was like really, really excited, really happy. And after like some, after some time, I just began to see my wife really just to dwindle backwards. A lot of depression, a lot of hurt, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. I felt like I was the cause of robbing her joy, of giving her all this baggage. I felt like I was, I was the baggage. We really just battled addiction. We battled brokenness. We were really just lost in the world. And we were trying to find ourselves in the world. I was so stubborn to even realize and come to the fact of this wasn't where I was supposed to be. And it took for me to hit rock bottom to see that I truly need Jesus. And one day we actually tuned in in our parking garage in our car and we tuned in on the Wednesday night service. That's when Pastor Marco was speaking about how to be happy, that series on how to be happy. And that hit us so hard because at that time we were not happy. You know, we weren't we weren't content with where we were at in life. Immediately, right when altar hit, we accepted the call and we accepted Jesus into our lives as our Lord and as our Savior. And ever since then, we really just got plugged straight into the church. At the mass marriage, we got married. Uh, we got plugged into a discipleship group. We did the Holy Warriors. And ever since then, we were just going and going for God. Being plugged into a discipleship group was something that that was the biggest blessing ever because it taught you accountability, it taught you correction, and it was a big steering moment in our lives. By saying yes to God, we were given the honor and the privilege to lead the next generation with the way you. We were able to help these students who were broken. We were able to usher in these kids into the presence of God and show them what a true relationship with Jesus looks like. And now that uh, God has given us an opportunity to be able to go to the Way Stafford in Arizona, to just be able to uh, lead this next generation that is gonna be on fire for God, who's gonna be living for God, and we're just really excited to see what God is gonna do next. But if we can tell you this, if Jesus was able to redeem us and set us free and to bring us back home, then he can definitely do it for you too. Thank you everybody who is able just to hear this testimony and we hope and we believe that it will be an encouragement not just for our lives but for your guys' lives as well. And we definitely believe that our testimony is, is the, the power, power of yes. yes. Hello church, welcome to service today and wow, what an incredible testimony that we've just heard from Sarah and Joseph. You know, I believe that God has a plan and journey for every single one of us. In this moment, we're going to be bringing our tithes and our offering. You know, I love the story of Sarah and Joseph. They're a testament of what God can do through giving. I've had the opportunity of knowing them this past year. They've served with us in youth ministry. They were in mine and my wife's discipleship group. And now they're going to be the youth leaders in Arizona. That is a testimony. There is a verse I'd love to share with you when I think about tithes and offerings and when I think about the story of Sarah and Joseph. In 1 Samuel 15, 22, what is more pleasing to the Lord, your burnt offerings and sacrifices or your obedience to his voice? Listen, obedience is better than sacrifice and submission is better than the offering of the fat of rams. You know, from this scripture, I believe we can learn three key things that Joseph and Sarah apply to their lives that we can learn from as well. Number one, obedience is greater than sacrifice. Yes, giving is sacrificial, but did you know that giving is part of our obedience? 
You know, I first spoke to Sarah and Joseph about the idea of moving to Arizona. The first thing they responded back was, just help us pack. Wow, faith, obedience. They knew that the Lord was leading them and they obeyed and they knew that God would take care of their finances. Number two, submission to God. Yes, submission is a scary word in today's day. But did you know that from scripture, submission protects us and frees us? Joseph never tithed in his life. He didn't know every scripture or teaching on giving, but he heard about it in a service just like you are today. He knew that God was leading him to give through tithes and offerings, so he submitted to the leading of the Holy Spirit and he gave. If God says it, let's do it. Number three, willingness. The power of your yes. You know, whenever Joseph and Sarah had the opportunity to give for expansion or growth of the tithes and offerings, they said yes. Whenever they had an opportunity to serve in ministry, they said yes. And when they had the opportunity to go to Arizona, they said yes. Today, we have the opportunity to give. Will you say yes? Now, there are three easy ways to give. Number one, by downloading the Way World Outreach app on any device on a click on a button, that's my personal favorite. Number two is theway.gives. Go to any browser on any device and you can go ahead and give electronically there. Number three, if you're here in person, you can hop out into one of the aisles and visit one of our kiosks, fill out an envelope and just drop it right in. Or you can come to our main offices Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So we're going to invite our worship team back up on stage as we take out our phones, go out into those aisles or give online. Let's go ahead and worship God by song and worship God through our giving.